Welcome back to the Supercoach Nuff channel. In this video, we're going to preview round 17 of the NRL fantasy season uh, 2024 style. <laughs> so as usual, before we get into my team, we'll look at the who's hot, who's not, basically trade in, trade out options. Uh, so number one option, clearing away, Fletcher Sharp. Um, you know, it makes sense. He's going to play at 1920. Still relatively cheap, good break even. So if you are trying to squeeze that last bit of value, um, I think you can absolutely get on Fletcher Sharp. Uh, Jerome Hughes in good form. Won't play around 19, though. So probably one I wouldn't be too keen to get on. Um, but I'll have a look at his numbers and see why people are getting on him. And I'm guessing it's just average. Yeah, so averaging 59, yeah, break even to 40. So there's not a lot of value there. Um, and I think, you know, give it a week or two, you'll probably get Nico Hines for about the same price. Um, so that's what I'm hanging out for, hopefully. <laughs> uh, Jack Howarth. So a lot of people, you know, excited about him getting a run. Um, but I don't know if it's long term. He's not playing around 19. So I think he's an avoid. Uh, Nico Hines, I'd just wait on a week uh, or two. You know, he's still got the break even in the hundreds. Um, so 113. So I don't think he'll get that against the Dogs this week. You know, he could very well get his average, and I can see people chasing points over value. But um, I think, you know, he's going to become really good value in round 19, um, particularly given New South Wales performance. You know, Mitchell Moses is definitely in the seven, which uh, means Hines is definitely available for round 19. Uh, the Hammer sounds like he's got an injury out of origin, so I think you'll have to reverse that trade if you brought him in. Uh, Samuel Afanu, I mean, covers around 1920, mid edge. It's it's sort of the one that got away from me. He's now 550k, still gettable, I suppose, but um, you know, he was definitely a bit cheaper a few weeks ago. <laughs> uh, Joe Tarpany, uh, a lot of people interested in getting on him. Uh, not too sure why. I'm pretty sure the Raiders have a buy around 19. Um, you know, it's sort of, I guess, maybe a good run of games. Yeah, so 94 a few weeks ago, and then a 74. All base as well. Well, there was a line break in the 94. But, you know, tackles and, and meters, all that good stuff. Offloads as well is nice. Um, but... Maybe not so much against Melbourne. Um, and then, as we said, has a little buy in round 19. So, um, yeah, one you could get on, I suppose, but uh, not a high priority. Uh, Will Price, first start for the Knights. I think he's at 400k. So a bit below, bit above base price, given he has played Super League before. Um, but I guess if you want the dual position flexibility, the coverage through the buys, you'd imagine... You know, they won't just bring him in for one game. I think Cogger was in the extended reserve, so it's his spot to lose. So he could get on. Uh, Pappenhausen, so I guess probably pretty cheap for a potential keeper option. Highest break even though, given his average, so not sure. People just excited that he's back, I suppose. Um, but doesn't play around 19. Uh, Appy Coruscant, I think I skipped him, he must have just moved above actually, but uh, get him in. Um, Harris DeVita, he'd be super cheap, wouldn't he? And with Johnson out for a few weeks, I can see the appeal there. So probably downgrade option of the week, um, Harris DeVita. Although he doesn't play around 19, so maybe still Fletcher Sharp. Uh, Britton Nicora, yeah, bring him in. He's decent. Drow Skelton, I think, is an avoid. He's not long-term. Isaiah Yo, uh, if you can cover for round 19, I think you can bring him in. Uh, and ditto for Ali Katoa. And after a quick change of venue, we'll go through the uh, who's not list. So, uh, Sean Johnson, I think, yep, trade him out. He's injured. He's high break-even. All the, all the ingredients for a trade-out. 
Jermaine Hopgood, given the unknown timeline, I think is a trade out. Uh, Fairlongo, Armstrong, both sort of out of the team. So, yeah. Atkinson, I think, with, uh, yeah, sort of in line with Hines, definitely being a trade in. He is unfortunately a trade out. Ruben Garrick is a hold, though, um, given that uh, he's only out this week and be back next week. Um, and I didn't really see any high, highly rated mm, center options to trade in. Maybe I've missed something there. Uh, Till Lange, I think, can trade out. He's still suspended. Jaden Braley, I think, if you've got cover, you know, go to Abbey Coruscant, for example, you could trade out. Um, but we'll play around 19 and 20, so it could be a valuable number then. Cooler, I think, is a trade out, given he's not playing fullback. Uh, Nick Meany. Maybe injured, not sure why people are trading him out, but uh, yeah, there's probably better options. Ben Travojevic, uh, yeah, he can trade out, I suppose, if he's done his bit. Um, but, you know, he's on by this week, which means he will play around 1920. Um, Jack Bostock, I think he's only out this week, but they do have the buy next week, so could cover around 1920, but uh, I guess if you can upgrade, then go for it. Tommy Talia, yeah, I think that was a cash grab, so trade him out. Sam Hughes, I think you can trade out whenever you want now. And Kai Pierce Paul, I would actually hold, even though he's on the bench. Um, you know, he will, you know, be a useful number in rounds 19, 20. So uh, I guess, you know, for my team this week, um, I only got Hopawadi and Fafita out. Um but probably going to do some some uh, DPP loopage to get the right players in the right spot. Um, so let's start with Talangi in for Wishart. Wishart in for Plath. Uh, and then Plath for Curran so that we can then have Curran sit there uh, and then we also need to get Hopawadi out so I should have just gone with uh, drink water stuff that up <laughs> so if we just uh, slide down for feet <coughs> excuse me um, so I might just push him up. So I guess, you know, we definitely have a squad this week. Even if Ed Woods and Grant were to both get rested, you know, we've still got hands and, and Eero to cover. In in a sense, it'll be Talangi, obviously, cover. Um, Ed Woods and Guerrero just be on the bench. Um, but I guess the issue is when we look at this team, um, we've got Fanua Blake, who I who actually rate as captain and might even just leave the sea on him. But the VC options are, are fairly weak. Like, obviously, Edwards, if he backs up, but it is his first origin. Um, so we'll just wait and see on that. Uh, Drinky's playing against Penrith, so probably not. Um, okay, Weeks is playing against the Storm. So we don't really have, you know, a second strong option. Um, you know, but what we do seem to have is a lot of money. Um and we also have this spud, Sam Hughes. He's done good for us, obviously. You know, he's made 120K. He's, he's carried us through the first couple of buy rounds. But the fact is, he doesn't play around 19. So I'm happy to chop in for someone that doesn't play around 19. Um, but obviously, you know, try and take advantage of this money. Um, and I guess the, the, the option that jumps out at me is Isaiah Yo. So you know, definitely an upgrade in the position. We've still got 260k in the bank. It's only going to cost me one trade. So, and you can see we've still got five trades. We can only use four in round 19 anyway. You know, round 18, we should be sweet with only the three Dolphins out. Um, and I, I, unless there's, you know, bulk injuries. But obviously we have to trade them anyway. So I'll put the VC on, yo. But just looking at this team makes it look a lot nicer. You know, we've got Grant, Marshall King. We'll, we'll probably will carry Braley into um, the buys, but uh, 
you know, if if we sort of get to that stage and he's still named on the bench and we can sort of find an option we want to bring in, um, we might just do it. Um, but yeah, looking at it now, you know, Hooker's pretty well set. You know, if Noah Black and Yo are locked in, um, plus decent cover, but you know, maybe one more middle. So probably, you know, looking at Payne Haas as you know that last upgrade there. Um, got Dave for Fair, obviously getting a Angus Crichton or maybe at the slightly discounted price in Ellie Katoa would be nice. Someone like a Kalal Matungi is starting to show a bit though as well. So, you know, if we can upgrade the edge, we will. It's not the biggest priority. But uh, then obviously, you know, our halves, we, we're going to target Hines and Cleary, obviously. Um, Hines, round 19, trade him in. Cleary, just whenever he's back, he can come in. Um, and then centers are set. F wing fullback's pretty close. You know, I think once uh, Munster and Fogarty are back, we'll be able to use the Wishart Weeks money to get in. You know, it might be Luttrell. Um, it might be Ponga once he's back. Um, Tedesco could be a good option too. Or we could go someone like a Lomax that has that bit more flexibility um, just to help cover in the centers. So... You know, we're getting pretty close to the full team. Um, keep in mind, we do get those extra eight trades as well. So, um, yeah, it's looking good for 18. I think we're doing okay for 19. Um, if I quickly go back here to the buy planner, haven't preloaded it, but it's going to be essentially the same team, I think, because, you know, as I yo will also miss around 19. Um, so we do have 11 currently. Um, and if I just go through your hands, Wilson, Tangi, Opawati, Aiken, Plath, Galvin. So, yeah, so there's maybe Fafita gets a call up, but I don't think so. I think, you know, Billy Slater will pick and stick with uh, the team that, that uh, he's picked. Um, he, he definitely won't panic. So, I mean, you know, we only make, need to make a couple of trades in round um, 19. And, uh, you know, I guess we do have a few out in, in round 20 as well. So there might be a trade there potentially. So then obviously, you know, it's all about just getting to that final team. Um, as I said, it'll be things like, you know, Weeks or Wishart will become Nico Hines um, and maybe another wing fullback if we can find one. Um, Hughes has already turned into Yo, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so I think the team's pretty well positioned. Um you know, we're definitely not going to win it, but uh, hopefully we'll just make a, a solid run home. <laughs> That's the goal. Top 5k, let's say, would be nice, but uh, maybe out of reach. We'll just have to wait and see. But I think this aggressive move will help with that. Um, could be more aggressive given, you know, I said we only need a couple of trades and we've got five up our sleeve. Um, so, yeah, do we bring in another keeper? Like Braley get us to what's that? About eight hundred. I guess we do want to be mindful too, because we do need to keep some money for you know the big hitters that we're targeting. So it's no point spending all of it this week. Um, yeah, so I think we'll just sit and wait and we'll reassess, go forward. But um, yeah, that's the video. So. As always, if you've got any questions, comments, thoughts, feel free to get them uh, below this video. Uh, give us a like if you enjoy the NRL Fantasy content. Uh, join the 400 others that are subscribed to the channel um, for all the fantasy sports content. And other than that, I'll catch you in the next one.